Tonight, just a few minutes after this broadcast last night, the Unified Command confirmed recovering teams found the body of a fifth construction worker in the waters of the Key Bridge collapse. 49 year old Miguel Luna. And the latest recovery comes as officials with the Maryland Transportation Department confirm a preliminary cost and timeline now to replace the structure, which of course connects Baltimore City to Anne Arundel County. That cost totaling between $1.7 and $1.9 billion. WJZ is on your corner at the Canton Waterfront Park. Christina Mendez speaks with friends of Luna for the first time since his remains were recovered. Christina. Well, from family to friends to neighbors, you will hear that Miguel Luna put family first and worked day in and day out to make sure that they were supported. We now know crews are working to find the last fellow construction worker and eventually reopen the Port of Baltimore. I, I can't put myself in their shoes to understand how they feel. For the last five weeks, just waiting and waiting, and finally their loved one is uh, coming home. A loved one who belongs to a wife and three children. 49 year old Miguel Luna, an El Salvador native, was found inside a truck among the debris from the Key Bridge collapse. The recovery on Wednesday marks the fifth construction worker to be reunited with their family. He probably works six days a week. Pedro Marino Luna, Miguel's Glen Burnie neighbor, says he will be remembered as a hard worker. And I would say seven because when he wasn't working, he'd be working in the house. Now the community plans to lift up Miguel's family. A carne asada, chicken breast, they have tacos. This Saturday, a fundraiser. Event is set at the Luna's food truck near Walmart on Governor Ritchie Highway in Glen Burnie. Fernando Sanchez is helping to spread the word. It's very important because we never know when we'll be in this situation. Now, one worker, Jose Minor Lopez, remains missing in the rubble. This is Jose Minor Lopez right here. This is what it means, the black. Meaning that, that we care and that we mourn. Mural artist Roberto Marquez says family continues praying for his return to bring a sense of closure. The memorial is, it is, it needs to be here. What we do, they can find hope. Recovery and salvage efforts continue around the clock as crews move closer toward refloating the Dolly container ship. This will help free up the federal shipping channel and allow normal operations at the Port of Baltimore by the end of May. This, as the Maryland transportation officials state, the preliminary price tag to replace the bridge by fall 2028 would cost upwards of $1.9 billion. Head to WJZ.com to learn more details about that Saturday fundraiser for the Luna family. Meanwhile, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers does say that they are still on schedule to reopen the Fort McHenry Channel by the end of May. I'm reporting live tonight from Canton. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.